Welcome to Utah Helicopters Idle Falls location. My name is Blaine Jemmett. I'm the base manager here and today we're going to be talking about LTE, otherwise known as loss of tail rotor effectiveness. Okay, this is a problem that all helicopters that have tail rotors are going to experience. It is not a mechanical problem, however. Okay, this normally occurs below 30 knots and it's due to the airflow entering the tail rotor disturbed or in a chopped up manner, if you will. Okay, now there's three different types of LTE. The first one is called main rotor disc interference. It occurs when the wind is coming at the helicopter from the 10 and 11 o'clock position. What happens is the vortices from the main rotor blade's tips get blown into the tail rotor, thereby disturbing the airflow. Okay? And then we, the second kind is called weather cock stability, otherwise known as weather veining. You can see it both ways occurs when your wind is from the 8 and the 4 o'clock position. And what happens is the wind grabs a hold of the tail surfaces and the rotor blades themselves and wants to throw them one way or the other. And it can make it very difficult to keep the nose pointed straight. The third type is called the tail rotor vortex ring state. Occurs when the wind is coming at the helicopter from the 11 to the 7 o'clock position. Basically what it does is it blows the downwash from the tail rotor back into the system causing a ring state, known as a vortex ring state. Therefore, it's reusing the same air and not creating any thrust. Okay. Now, recovering from LTE, because eventually we'll get into it, is we need to apply the correct pedal inputs. We need to be light on the pedals and be able to control the helicopter. Okay. And if need be, point the nose into the wind from the left side of the helicopter, which, as you can see, is an area where we don't have the problem with LTE. Okay. To prevent LTE in the first place, you always want to know where your winds are coming from on final approach so that you know if you're going to be subject to this or not. Always maintain full RPM. You want to keep your RPM right in the green arc because that allows for the tail rotor to be able to create its maximum amount of thrust. And avoid tailwind operations in a hover if at all possible. Sometimes it's not and we just have to learn how to deal with LTE. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something today. Have a good day.